help this Texas family find their missing daughter, Kay Elena Turner, who is suffering a manic episode at the time of her disappearance on the border of Harris and Montgomery counties in Texas. Hi, my name is Tanya. If you are new here, hello, hi, and welcome, and welcome back to all my returning Titans. Thank you for joining me for yet another upload. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't yet subscribed and you're into true crime, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button. That way we can send this out into the algorithm. We can get her name and her voice heard because she has been missing now going on over two weeks. So the family of a beloved local musician, Elena K, or I'm sorry, K Elena Turner is pleading for the safe return of their daughter who has been missing since Friday, March 10th. Stick with me at the end of um, when I'm done talking, I'm going to show you guys a video at the end of this. She was last seen in Harris County wearing a bright pink maxi dress. Kay Elena was experiencing a manic episode at the time of her disappearance, but kidnapping is not ruled out to be the cause or explanation of her sudden disappearance. On Friday, March 9th, Kay Elena's boyfriend James and her best friend Brittany became concerned when she texted them. She said, no help. She texts that to Brittany without explanation. A friend in Austin shared that he received a call from Kay Elena announcing that she was um, driving to visit him. However, her phone was dying, so he encouraged her to write down the address. That way she wouldn't get lost. She thought she had arrived in Austin, but she was actually in Harris County, and she began knocking on doors looking for her friend. Eventually, she ended up falling asleep in a stranger's driveway. So that's going to be early the morning of Saturday, March 10th. Residents of Tumball found Kay Elena sleeping in her car and called the police when they couldn't wake her. When the police arrived, Kay Elena was startled and tried to back out of the driveway very suddenly. The police broke out her driver's side window for reasons that are unclear, terrifying Kay Elena even further than she already was. She then drove through several fences before boggling her car down in a muddy, densely wooded area nearby. The tracks suggest that Kay Elena ran on foot into the woods and crossed Spring Creek into Montgomery County, kicking off her shoes, which were found full of glass from the broken window. Her phone was also found near the abandoned vehicle and her purse and her other belongings were still in the car. So she has no money, no phone, no wallet. She has nothing with her. This was the last reported sighting of Kay Elena Turner before her disappearance on Friday, March 10th. It is thought that someone in the car, in a car may have picked her up since police helicopters could not detect her um, heat signature in the woods. The family is considering all possibilities, including abduction. Montgomery County Police disclosed that they were not alerted by the Harris County Sheriff's Department until 9 a.m., more than three hours after Kay Elena disappeared. Kay Elena's family has been working with several different law enforcement agencies across the area to try and bring her home. However, to the family's dismay, Harris County Sheriff's Department has taken Kay Elena off the missing persons list and instead filed paperwork for her as a fugitive for running from the police, even though she did not knowingly break the law. The police have a duty to protect the public, but their actions in this case have been harmful to Kay Elena and her family, to say the least. Kay deserves a voice, protection, and access to public resources dedicated to finding her and getting her home safely. She has never even had a parking ticket on her record, and experiencing a mental health crisis should not make her a criminal. Texas Equisterts combed the woods for six hours but were unsuccessful and can no longer help due to Kay Elena being listed as a fugitive. So since the police listed her as a fugitive, since they busted out the window and scared her, and she took off, which is understandable if you're having especially a manic episode. But they decided instead of um, calling, you know, for help, they decided to bust out her window instead, causing her to go through fences and then run from the police. Then they couldn't even find her after she ran from them and crashed her car. So with that being said, I do have the banner going. If you to report any leads, please contact the Tumble Police Department or Rosa Calhoun. You can call her mom directly at 409-363-0837. And there is also a video that I wanted to show you guys really quick. So let me show you this here of her. Ida, search is underway in Harris County for this missing woman from Beaumont. Today marks 15 days since Margaret K. Alana Turner or K. Alana was last seen or heard from. She left her Beaumont home on March 9th, 
Then on March 10th, she was spotted in a neighborhood in Tomball. When confronted by officers, she ran. Now, family and friends report that at the time, she was in the midst of a mental crisis. Good evening, I'm Jordan Williams. And I'm Brenda Matuti. Now, 12 News reporter Gloria Walker spoke with Kaylana's family. She joins us in studio now. And Gloria, what is the message from the family tonight? Well, Brenda Jordan, her parents are in Tomball right now, and they say they won't rest till Kaylana is found. They say they need your help to get their daughter home. That you have value and you are so important to us. That's the message Rosa Calhoun has for her missing daughter, Kaylana. She's been missing for two weeks now. Her parents have scanned this video for clues. It's one of the last times she was caught on camera here in Southeast Texas. It was taken on Thursday, March 9th. Kaylana knocks on a friend's door in Silsby. She knocks a few times, waits, then walks off texting a friend. Then she told them that she was going to go home and go to sleep. Which would have been Beaumont. Which would have been to Beaumont. But she never arrived. And when family and friends couldn't get in touch with the 27-year-old, they began to worry. Friends tracked her location and found she was near Tomball. She was spotted by Harris County deputies, and when they approached, things took a turn. That she attempted to run over a police officer, that she had run through some fences, that they had searched for her with a helicopter and a dog and couldn't find her. That was on March 10th. Since then, there's been no sightings of Kaylana and no communication from her. Her family is desperate to find her. Whoever has seen her or picked her up or has helped her may not do social media. And our only means to communicate with them may be traditional media. Her parents believe she's having a severe manic episode and have been very transparent about her condition on the Facebook page they're running in hopes of bringing Kaylana home. They said people have been very helpful in trying to find their daughter. The neighborhood where this incident started, those people have walked the, those woods. They have shouted her name. They have shared her story. And Leave me your thoughts on this case down in the comment section below. This one is, this one's a hard one. It has a lot to do with mental health and I feel like the police in this country don't really know how to handle people that are dealing with a mental health crisis. They put them in a box um, and just put a little bow on it and wipe their hands clean half the time. I feel like we need a little bit more help in that department in this country. So um, without me going into that any further, thank you for joining me for yet another upload. Thank you for enjoying my content and, you know, joining me every day live. I will be live this evening at 8.15, so I will see you guys then, 8.15 Eastern Standard Time. I always tend to forget to tell you guys that part. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.